Welcome to Farley Pre-Prep Harvest Festival. A little different this year and we miss being able to show you everything that we have done live. However, the children have enjoyed filming everything in the chapel and we all ho hope that you enjoy watching it too. Thank you for all your kind and generous donations to the Andover Food Bank. I know that they will be gratefully received. Welcome to our Harvest Festival. We have been thinking about why harvest is important for us all. Did you know that in the word harvest we can rearrange the letters and make other words that help us to understand how important it is for everyone? Harvest! Harvest time is a time when we thank God for the harvest and food he provides for us. We have many things to think about when it is harvest time. This year, many of us planted lots of vegetables at home and watched them grow while we were all at home for so long. Even though we had lockdown and the farmers still had to go out to plant their crops and to keep make to make sure they will grow well and be ready to harvest them. The farmers go out every day into their fields to check that all their crops are growing well. Often the birds try to eat the crop and some farmers make scarecrow that stand in their field to try and scare away the birds. In some of the villages around Farley, the scarecrow trails where lots of scarecrows are made and people follow the trail to see them all. Reception class, bear cubs and bunnies have learned a song all about a scarecrow and the job a scarecrow does. Listen carefully to the words in I'm a scarecrow. country that we have enough food. God sent lots of sunshine and plenty of rain to help the crops to grow. Thank God that we have so much food at harvest time. We celebrate harvest because the farmers have collected all the food that has grown in the fields and gardens this year. Strawberries grew in June, wheat and cereals were ready to harvest in July and August, and plenty of apples and other fruits in September. Kindergarten have learnt a song all about farmer being out in the field in his big red combine harvest.
the last few weeks harvesting the crops. Now is the time when they will rest before they start planting the seeds ready to start growing again next year. We thank the farmers for their efforts and hope they enjoy their rest. The farmers know that they must harvest all the crops before the season change. The summer days are long, hot and sunny, but soon after all the fruit and vegetables have been harvested, the season turns to autumn. Year one have been learning an autumn poem. Everybody in pre-prep has been very kind and brought in tins and packets for our harvest festival. We know that we are all very lucky to have enough food. Year one has been th thinking about all the food that we can bring to harvest festival. Listen to their song, A Harvest List. this time it is also right that we think about people who are not as lucky as us and don't have enough food in many parts of the world there is not enough food um, because the crops have not grown there is not enough rain or too much rain or for lots of other reasons we think of those who have not got enough food and pray for them yeah. We can see from our harvest table that we have lots of donations of food here. 
At harvest time, there is lots of food. It is a time to share. Um, it is a time to share what we have with those less fortunate than us, the older poor, those in other countries. Harvest time is a time to think of others and think about how we can how we can share what we have with them. All of our donations here at Farley will be given to the Andover Food Bank. The volunteers there can make up boxes of food to give to those families who are struggling to have enough food to eat. Thank you all for the kind donations. Save! When the farmers harvest the crops, it means that enough food can be pr pr provided for the winter months when not many crops grow in the cold, dark days. In the past, at harvest time, food would have been saved and stored away for the winter. It is easy to do these things today with fridges and freezers, but in the past, we would have pickled, salted and tinned the food to make sure there was enough food to last through the winter. Eat! When we eat our food, we should say, thank you for God for what we have on our plate. As we eat it, and enjoy its taste. We must remember to thank the farmers and shopkeepers and the people who cook the food that we eat. Thank you. Year two has been learning the harvest samba. The words in this song explain why we have a harvest festival. said these special words 
that explain why we should share and help others. Rivers do not drink their own water. Trees do not eat their own fruit. The sun does not shine on itself, and the flowers don't spread their fragrance for themselves. Living for others is a rule of nature. We are all born to help each other. No matter how difficult it is, life is good when you are happy, but much better when others are happy because of you. All of donations will make families and over happy. Let us finish with a prayer in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear God, each season brings something new for us to see and enjoy. With sunny days and rainy days, all the crops in the fields grow. Fruits and vegetables ripen, ready for the farms to harvest. Thank you for all the food we have to eat. Thank you for all those who work hard to prepare the food for us. And let us remember all those in Andover, in our country and in other countries who do not have enough to eat. Amen. We hope you have enjoyed our Harvest Festival.